Libra, oh Libra, what's going on? What's popping? What's going on in the life of a Libra between the 15th and the 30th of November? Hmm? Hmm? Y'all keeping y'all peace? Finally, y'all cool? Hmm? Are y'all quite, what's the word I'm looking for? Unfuckwittable. <laughs> Welcome to the Mocha Love Terror channel. If this is your first time viewing my channel, hey boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time viewing my channel, look out. I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. So if cussing is not for you, please feel free to find you one of these beautiful readers on uh, YouTube who resonate with you better. And I don't love you no less. In fact, I love you a long time. Uh, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family, boo. Hey, we a little dysfunctional, you know. We 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 cuss, we don't fight, we, we don't fuss. We leave that shit on other people's channel. We share, we love, we grow, we evolve. Positive vibes only. Um, this is not a personal; it is a general. If you need a personal reading, that information can be found within the description. I'm trying to get every everybody uploaded on time because Mocha has other endeavors and other shit. Do. Um, so if you do need a personal reading, I also um, updated my information with the emergency readings, meaning um, from here on out, I'm going to have to start um, separating. So if you need a same day reading, that would be considered an emergency reading. Um, so the price uh, would differ, all right, from the regular prices, and that can be found in the description below. Um, without further ado, um, old subscribers, familia, it's popping. What the hell is going on with y'all? Because this full moon, I'm sorry, new moon in Scorpio wasn't so damn comfortable, okay? I really wasn't with the shits. I wasn't feeling it. However, <laughs> we shall push through, all right? So let's get it. All right. So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Libra. Oh, Libra. Let's get it. Start your spirit messages. What messages do you have for Libra? messages do you have for Libra? Alright. Come on now. Some of y'all looking back at a soulmate union. Some of you all have evolved. Some of you all are going to be going through... Um, yeah, some of you all are going to be going through major transformation during this time. You're going to be walking away um, from people, places, and things that just really just don't sit well with you. A lot of you all are just moving away to find harmony within the self, okay? Because you feel chained to situations. You feel as if I give, 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 and I'm still left with the situations. Even though, Libra, you do have the key on your mother chest to release yourself, all right? You are not stuck. You are only stuck if the mind tells you that you're stuck. Don't you don't have to be forced to be you don't have to give to a situation any longer that does not serve you. Okay? And I feel like a lot of you all have not really been speaking your truths. I feel like a lot of you all have been kind of wanting to turn a blind eye to some things in the past, but during this time that third eye is gonna be popped and the spirit say you shall see. Okay? The mind is going to be wide open. But some of you all, you may do, uh, you may actually be seeing um, doves or white birds during this time. Some of you all may be around, um, what is this, like, lilac, lilac flowers. Y'all know nothing about flowers. I just think they're pretty. <laughs> but um, a lot of you all will definitely be focused on the self. And there's a big focus on the heart chakra for Libra um, during this time. But a lot of you all, um, I feel like you're going to be putting your intentions out in the universe, really, you know, making a decision, telling spirit, this is what my heart truly desires, this is what I want, all right? And a lot of you all are going to see that manifest on the surface during this time. A lot of you all, you're just going to be moving. Some of y'all are just going to be packing up and just moving. I feel spirit has been trying to push you, give you that little nudge, and for some of y'all, you're getting pushed off the damn cliff. And I feel like this is, you don't look at it as something to be fearful about, okay? It's a beautiful thing. It's actually going to bring you harmony within if you just choose to just move forward. Okay, you can't take all that baggage, but you got to let go. It's a major time of releasing some things. You know, releasing that hurt. And 
understand that everybody is not going to react or respond the way that you expect them to. So just be receiving, be accepting during this time, and be and be willing to release. It feels a whole lot better when you do it willingly. Okay, a lot of you all are going to be able to perceive a certain situation during this time. I feel like. But some of you all, you taking off the rose colored damn glasses and you're going to be speaking your damn truths. Because I feel like some of y'all been sitting on the truth for a long time. Some of y'all during this time, you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them. But definitely standing your, uh, stand your authenticity. Some of you all are, um, I feel like this is the time where you're being very reflective over where you've been. And it's not about feeling stuck in where you're going, but it's definitely about being open and allowing to be able to move toward the light and making the free will choice in order to do so and share your light and your wisdom with the world. I feel like you went through certain particular situations in your life, baby. You had to learn those lessons in order to truly be able to receive and be appreciative and be able to acknowledge and see when God is sending you blessings. I feel that some of you all, <laughs> some of you all, are really just coming in one with yourself during this time. Some of you all are going to be working on your chakras. Your crown chakra is going to be popping. Okay, I do see that spirit is going. A lot of y'all are going to be receiving a massive download. It could be during um during today's manifestation um energy that you receive massive downloads from spirit while in nature. Um, this eleven eleven is going to be a very it's, it's bringing in very very positive energy for my Libras. I feel like some of you all may be seeing butterflies during this time while in nature. For some of you all, you really need to look up the color of those butterflies because I feel like this is Spirit's way of informing you that's the messenger of newness, a rebirth, transformation, evolution, a turnaround. Break it down. <laughs> you get the gist. New shit. Change. What do you want, Libra? Spirit. Let me show me what my Libras can expect in love between the 15th and the 30th. What can my Libras expect in love between the 15th and the 30th? Yeah, some of you all are going to be receiving some form of truth and clarity, okay? Because I feel like in the past, maybe someone um, moved away from you. This could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This could also be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I feel like matter is not the sign. You, <clears throat> Someone wants to move forward towards you. They want to start new. I feel like you're going to be in your damn head about it. I don't, you don't trust them. And I feel like during this time apart, Libra, someone really came to the conclusion that on the cool... They feel like they just can't live and be without you. They actually feel that this is really the the other example of you don't miss a good thing until it's gone. But I feel like somebody had two decisions to make or two options, okay, in the past. And going forward, someone is going to make a decision. However, Libra feeling like I don't trust you. But some of you, you have a new love offer coming in from a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And I feel like... Libra, some of y'all got the damn energy that if you feel like if a person sent you a friend request on Facebook, you got to go check it out. Inspector Gadget. Got to go check it out. Got to go. Who the hell are you? Who sent you? Who who we mutual friends with? Damn, it's a social network. Be social. Shit. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Y'all, this weather switched up. It switched up on me. It ain't loyal at all. So my allergies cutting up. So I may cough. Excuse me. Some of you all have an Aries possibly to lift you out in the cold. Or maybe you feel abandoned by an Aries person. I feel like, Libra, this relationship with this Aries person can be successful if someone is willing to put the damn ego and the pride down and be vulnerable. And I feel like someone is actually making a decision in order to do so. But you're just feeling like, uh-uh, I don't trust it. Some of you all, um, some of you all are going to choose to leave a water sign on the code, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I feel like 
You could be dealing with a fire sign as well. And I feel like for some of you all, you really want to hold on to this relationship. Some of y'all going to find out somebody been holding on to y'all for money or for financial gain. This could be a younger fire sign or earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like this person is coming in. Someone's coming in to make an offer. It looks like this water energy. This could also be an earth sign. It could have left you out in the cold. Aries up in the building. Another Gemini Libra. Quit. Everybody's in the damn building. Okay? So matters not the sign. Someone's coming to in to offer you love, Libra. And I feel like this is somebody who possibly could have actually left you out in the cold before. This person also, both of y'all, you don't trust this person. This person's pretty skeptical as well, even though they're very passionate about you. Because they have a fear of rejection. Something about rejection, okay? But for the most part, Libra, there can be harmony in this situation, but you really you're gonna have to you gonna be willing, you're gonna have to be willing to let the past go and what happened in the past. I feel like in the past you were given possibly to more to a situation than another person was. And now that you have removed yourself from the damn equation, this person is really feeling like, oh shit, you caused a towel moment in my life. So coming forward, this person could also be avoiding the towel moment coming back. Ask the right questions, leaving with some of y'all. Especially if you're dealing with a water sign in the past that can't that's coming back. I feel like, or an earth sign, ask the right questions. I mean, and when I say the right questions, be very, very, very specific and be very analytical in how you're asking your questions to get full clarity from this person. Because somebody is really trying to sit on some truth. And what they don't understand is that the shit going to be unveiled. And shit going to be unveiled regardless. The veil is no more. It ain't thin. It is no more. So that said, whatever anybody is hiding or whatever truth that they trying to hold on to. Some of y'all were feeling like somebody was hiding some money. This could be an earth sign. You're getting ready to find that out. Your intuition is on point, on fleek, okay? Some of you all, you could have moved away from a third-party situation. It could have involved a Scorpio. But some of you all, this could also be um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But I feel like Libra, there's a younger water sign that's really digging you, baby. You could also be younger than this person. But I feel like... Some of you all, you manifest this love into your life, and this could come through the form of any sign, but I feel like for some of y'all, you're definitely dealing with an Aquarius as well, or you could be getting some truth about or from an Aquarius. But I feel like this person is wanting to come in and make you an offer, and I feel like this person just want to take their time and get to know you. For some of you, you're not, especially if this is an earth sign. For example, you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, and then you meet a new damn Capricorn, and you're like, oh, hell no, nah, all y'all ass lies. You be, you be lying and shit. You controlling. You don't do that. Don't charge nobody for a crime that they did not commit. This is why spirit is allowing you to remove yourself in order for you to heal and get yourself together. And come into acknowledgement within the self what it is that I need to let go. What it is. Do I have a fear of commitment? Do I have trust issues? Okay. Is, is this preventing me from moving forward? You can't take that baggage with you. Remember this here? That bag is light. Bag lady, you gonna have to leave some of that shit. Can't move forward at all. Heavier than this, okay? Because it's not happening. You know, so understand that for some of you all, you're gonna leave a Scorpio out in the cold. And I feel like you could actually be, um, you could have children with this person. You could actually have a long term commitment with this person. But I feel like, Libra, you just want peace. And for some of y'all, you feeling like during this time, look here, my time, my peace, it's expensive because out of everything in this damn world, I can't get that shit back. Some of y'all is afraid to take an offer or reconcile possibly with an earth sign that you possibly could have dealt with in the past due to the fact this person could have put you in a third party situation. And so some, some of y'all, you didn't get full clarity about it. So you just really like, if you ain't going to tell me the truth, I ain't going to talk to your ass. This person is coming back with the truth, but make sure that the truth is really, really what you want. And can you be accepted to it? Okay? A lot of y'all, this is a very healing period. Bless you, baby. Y'all, bless my baby. I'm sorry. He's sleeping. He's sneezing. <laughs> yeah, this is a very healing period. A lot of y'all need to take your ass to bed. You don't go to sleep. Some of y'all are being very defensive towards a new love, y'all. And it's nothing but victory and success and harmony here. A lot of you all manifested this love. But you're afraid of it. Whoa, shit. This is your ten of cups. For some of you all, it's someone from your past. It's reconciling. For some of you all, this is new love. Honest love. Truthful love. 
But some of you all can't accept it because someone hurt you in the past and it's a part of your transformation. You got to let that shit go. Put that hurt down, Libra. I dare you and just be happy. Peace, prosperity, abundance, love, healing, friendship, stable foundations can be made, but something had to fall first. Something has to fall first in order for beautiful shit to be obtained. And for some of you, you could be dealing with a Scorpio and there's just a need to transform and get past this defensive ass energy and be able to move forward. Because for some of you all, some of y'all want to be single and just really want to be able to mingle. Single, mingle, <laughs> single and mingle, singling and mingling with the jing, 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 jingling. Y'all, who can get them some little Christmas boots? Don't even talk with the bells on them. <laughs> Y'all know I'm an Aries. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about that. But I will say, get out of your head, y'all. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Y'all got a new beautiful beginning coming. This is a time of forgiveness, fearlessness, and moving forward unapologetically. Don't worry about what nobody else got to say. Because I told y'all before, whether you broke or you balling, a motherfucker gonna have something to say. Period. It's just people shit. That's what people do. So you can allow yourself to be great amongst adversity and really, really, really heal. You know. Or you could just dwell in your damn head and not get stuff not get no damn sleep. And you know, be jamming that damn what do the lonely do at Christmas and shit. With some eggnog and some Hennessy. Pull me up some though. I'm with that. That's my shit. So when you really hear the temptations, that's how you know it's the reason for the season. The reason to be alive. <laughs> y'all, I love y'all so very much. Y'all need to make a decision. During this time, y'all can make a decision. Somebody still got a bunch of options. Ask the right questions, Libra. Make people actually make sure that their actions match their words. Some of y'all are going to be leaving long-term commitments. It's about what you want, Libra. Y'all got to act a little bit like Aries now. The self. It's about the self. Because that we shit, man, that we should be making people take take ill sometimes. It's all about the we. But please be responsible with the me before we focus the big spectrum on the we. Because it takes you to be the change that you wish to see in the world. And that starts with focusing on the me. You did? If you want change, be willing to change. And be accepted. Ain't nothing to fear. Beautiful shit is here. What you scared for? This is what I got for my leaders between the 15th and the 30th of November. I love y'all very, very, very much. Thank you in advance for the likes, the shares, the comments, the new subscribes. Y'all, I appreciate all that. Thank you for letting me shine my light with, share my light with you guys and my wisdom as well as my laughs and my love. I truly, truly appreciate you guys. If it wasn't for you all excelling at such a fast rate, y'all, I'm, I'm grateful. Thank you so much. Y'all, if you need that personal, keep me up. Let me hop on this Capricorn. Love y'all. Much love, much light. Namaste.